Hey guys, Michael here from youtube.com slash the revived one. In this video, I'm going to be giving you uh, a, a little walkthrough of the new iPhone operating system 3.0 beta 4. If you remember a while back, I did a preview uh, video of what I thought needed to be in the software, and a lot of it came true. But what, thinking about it and actually using it, you realize that Apple really didn't revolutionize in this area. They basically just added some features that they should have had from day one. So we'll start with Universal Search, dubbed Spotlight, similar to the Mac version. So I'm going to start typing. I'll just type my name. So first that comes up, and you can change the order in which different things have priority. So in this case, contacts have priority over, I over the iPod. But you can get contact information, so there's my contact information. You also have songs, and then you have some emails will come up after. Now, how can you get to this search? When you're on the home screen, you can slide, or you can press the home button. You can also program the double-click function, which I currently have set to iPod. You can program that to open up search. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the messaging client. It used to be dubbed SMS, and as you can see, it is now called Messages. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And I already had this preloaded with a text message just sending it to myself because I didn't want to expose the integrity of other people I'd be texting. And I'm sure somebody will make the genius comment because he doesn't have any friends, and I will laugh at them. But with this, MMS does work. I remember reading that it didn't, and then I tried it myself, and it works. You just press on it, and then you can view all the messages, all the MMS messages in that current chat. And I've tested this with, again, over AT&T to myself, and also to Verizon Wireless. So it does work, although when I tried to send a, an a, a sound file there was some problems but again how you would do that is you just press the little MMS button then you could take a photo so we'll just take a photo and it's kinda hard to see but you could take a photo and then just you could attach it as an MMS message and again here's your landscape keyboard which a lot of the new apps have that's weird Again, this is beta software. So we'll go ahead and send that, and we'll switch over to landscape, or to portrait, rather. And that new message will appear momentarily. But in essence, that's the messaging app. The next thing I want to show you is... And then there, the message was received. Next, I want to show you voice memos. In essence, and as you can see, there's a live preview of my voice right here. So if I... start tapping or whatever, it can hear me. Um, and then if I want to record, I press the record button, and now it's recording, and it gives you something up here, oh, you're recording, blah, blah, blah. And then you can go ahead and press stop when you're done with that. And then if you press back there, it'll bring you to different voice memos. And now it's recording, and it gives you something up here, oh, you're recording, blah, blah, blah. And then you can go... And there you go, there's the recording. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, you can go ahead and press the share button, and then you can either email it or use MMS. This is when I was telling you about before. MMS didn't work to send one of these, which is weird, but it's deleted now. And if you don't want to have it on speaker, you can deselect speaker, and you can still play it. There's voice memos. Next, I want to show you the YouTube application. Something that's really interesting, and something that I needed to use a separate app for, was better YouTube management to view my videos and view my subscriptions. So now, whereas this used to just be your very your very basic YouTube, if you go to more, you can sign in. I'm already signed in, because now it says sign out. But from there, I can see my playlists. So if I go ahead and do that, it'll load my playlists here. And if I wanted to see one of my wireless networking videos, I could go ahead and go in and watch one of them from there. Also, if I wanted to see my, my recent videos, I go ahead and press my videos, and here are all my videos that are just in a list, then I can play them and check out the view count and so on. 
I can also go to subscriptions. So if I want to see some videos that I, of people I'm subscribed to, it can go. You go by either the person making the video or new videos, and it'll have all the recent videos for you. And you can see John Rettinger did a Lenovo S10 netbook unboxing. I did the same one. It's the same laptop, so either person's videos, me or him, him or me, I suppose. Uh, it's the same thing, same laptop. So there's the YouTube application. It's really become much more useful. Another thing I want to show you, the big thing, is copy and paste. So in my notes, there's I have a list of books that I want. Right now it's just one book. Now if I just hold for a second, do a long tap, I can select all. Select all. Now it's all selected. From there I can cut or copy. So I'm going to go ahead and cut. And now it's gone. We'll long tap again. Paste and it's back. Now I can do something similar doing select and then I won't, don't have to select everything. I can just select what I want. So maybe I, I just want to get the title of the book. So I can go ahead and copy that. Maybe I wanted to look up the price so I can hop on over to the internet and this is really useful for me uh, with tracking numbers for instance just do another long tap paste it in go ahead and press Google on that and it's go ahead and googling that book so I don't have to remember what it was again I use this for longer strings of words that I don't have time to memorize it so there is a quick walkthrough of iPhone operating system 3.0 beta 4. Again, there's a lot of cool new things in here, but by new I mean things absent from the iPhone previously, not new to the market. That's why I think Apple is going to have to do something extra special for the next hardware revision due out June 2009 because the software is a little bit disappointing. Although it's something that we've definitely needed, it's not revolutionary, which what which is what made the iPhone originally the device everybody wanted and has allowed Apple to amass a huge market share in the few years it's been in the cell phone business. So, just something to keep in mind. For exclusive content, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash blue42richman, and also I suggest checking out my blog at michaelsherlock.com. And if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to youtube.com slash one. And also, use nice etiquette with these videos. If you like it, rate it. Leave a nice comment, not a rude one. I don't care if you're criticizing what I'm doing, but you can word it either cruelly, in which case you'll probably get blocked because I'm just sick of that bull, or you can word it positively and I can improve on my content from there. So it depends what you want to do, but you're not really going to succeed if you try to be a jerk. So just something to keep in mind, iPhone OS 3.0. See you later, guys.